Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. So, I took the RuPaul's Drag Race book tag not too long ago, I will link to below, and basically there was a question in that where you have to read some books, which kind of means roast them, I guess. Uh, the, the goal in that was to do it for some of your favourite books, and I enjoyed doing that, and also I think a lot of people watching the video thought it was fun, so I've decided I am going to read some more books. So, for example, like... Dan Brown, well, I mean, that's just a creative writing teacher writing a book based on what creative writing teachers say you should do to write a book. And also, he's a failed musician, so there's that. Ah, uh, he's still a multi-millionaire, though. I mean, Stephen King in Everything's Eventual. This is theoretically short stories, but as uh, my good uh, friend Matilda Gothica pointed out, Stephen King doesn't do short stories, he just does long stories. We've got here, Film It Cuts, Title Pending by Ollie Jacobs. This is an indie book, but really, Ollie, Title Pending? You, uh, how long has the title been pending for? This was published in 2014. It should have a title by now. The Dane Curse by Dashiell Hammett. This wasn't even good, and it's got my name in it. The Dane Curse. I felt as though I was suffering from The Dane Curse when I was reading it. I mean, Amsterdam, Ian McEwan. What was he doing with this? I don't know whether it was supposed to be a surprise what happened at the end, but considering there was only one thing in the entire book that mentioned Amsterdam at any point, it was pretty obvious that was the direction it was going in. Oh, this was just, no, bad, bad for for representation of what euthanasia is. That's actually not really me reading the book, that's just a review of it. The story of Brexit, I mean, how many pages does it take to say everything is fucked? In Real Life by Neve Shulman, the catfish guy. It turns out in real life, Neve Shulman is a bit of a dick. In fact, I'll link to a new story below about when he was a very naughty boy indeed. A bit of Fry and Laurie. I mean, I've seen the TV show. This is literally just the TV show printed. It was like rereading the book even though I'd never read it. Why didn't they ask Evans? What, why didn't you ask Evans? This, this here was just some like hippie spiritual new age bullshit to be honest. Hey, this book looks really cool, but it's it's not. It just looks good. It just looks really good and then has bad poems in it. I mean, this is the guy who wrote, this is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but with a whimper. And in here he's going, the rum tum tugger is a curious cat. If you offer him a pheasant, he would rather have grouse. This is how the book ends, not with a bang, but with a whimper. I mean, this one's a cookbook, and they kind of imply with bish bash bosh that it's not going to take long, but it actually takes like an hour to make every recipe. Although they are delicious. Three, two, one, go. Hey, look, we got some more from my bookcase tour video I'm doing. I mean, JK Rowling, I mean, someone should tell her not to use Twitter. Great lies to tell small kids. I would have to give this a bad review because it didn't include the most obvious lie. You know, you were planned. Oh, it's Rick Riordan, AK. Oh, it doesn't even have his name on it, doesn't This was an advanced copy I got, just showing off my advanced Rick Riordan. I I'm not a particular fan of his. Oh, my hair's in my face. Rick Riordan, I mean, it's basically just YA, Jason and the Argonauts. Natasha Rowe, Student Life for Survival Guide. I mean, was that was that the best picture they, they could get? Oh, the Trouble with Parallel Universes, new writing from Roehampton. Well, this is my old uni and they didn't ask me. If you smell! How do you do the eyebrow? I mean, how, how do you know that, that he's not a psychopath? Just lying about what psychopaths are. Also, this was just, I mean, convers- Well, see, my theory with this, the author said this was based on conversations with her actual friends. And I just think she needs to get new friends. Poems for a world gone to shit. These were shit poems for a gone to world. Ah yes, the depressing contingent. All quiet on the Western Front and Holocaust. Yeah, everybody dies and people are not nice, are they? Not very nice at all. And we'll, uh, we'll end up just with some good old fashioned, you know, vampire erotica. Ah. Hey Lestat, you're looking good. Alright, so I don't know whether I've managed to make this any good in editing, but I guess... I don't know. That is the magic of YouTube. We'll find these things out together. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments whether this was good or bad. <laughs> Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.